what are we going to talk about? Bird maintenance. <laughs> Star, Star Camp 2022. <laughs> Used to earn that. Astrophotography is a very unique hobby and it makes it so much more special when you get to come together with people that share the same passion for the night sky as you do. This is why I love Star Camp, which is the event that I'm currently at right now. It happens once a year in the southwest of Scotland under Bortle 2 dark skies. Star Camp is a large group of astrophotographers from all over the UK. People travel from far down south and far up north to experience the dark skies that we have here in Dumfries and Galloway. As well as it being a dark sky area here, we also have a few rules on camp to ensure that everyone is getting the benefit of the dark skies, such as a red light only district zone, which means that no white lights are allowed at any time. Natural sources of white light are even taken into account under this, a star camp is purposefully booked over a new moon weekend to ensure that no extra excess light pollution from the moon is going to ruin any imaging session. You could definitely say that when the Scottish weather plays ball, these star camp conditions are some of the best in the country to stargaze under. Many people come to Star Camp for the social aspect, as a lot of people on the field today met online before meeting in person through the same love of astrophotography. The beauty of Star Camp is that it welcomes anyone with a love for space. You do not need to be a deep space astrophotographer to have a place on camp. There are folks of all levels on site, so no matter where you are in your astronomy journey or your interest in space, there's always going to be someone that is here to help and happy to help, ready to take you on your next step in your journey. We're starting to see some red lights emerging now, and that can only mean one thing. I'd like to take this time out of the video to thank our amazing sponsors for today, Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing science website that puts learning through visuals and interactivity at the forefront of their brand. Their website showcases an infinite range of STEM topics for you to discover, no matter where your interests lie, from computing science to astrophysics, and no matter your knowledge level or previous science experience, which makes STEM accessible to everyone, which you guys know is something I strive so much for on this channel. For the budding astronomers out there that are interested in the physics behind the stars they image, the astrophysics topics will be right up your street. Topics that you may thought of as daunting to start with suddenly become accessible through Brilliant's fun and interactive set of animations that come along with the problems on their website. If this sounds like something that would interest you, head on over to Brilliant's website with the link in my description, brilliant.org forward slash Helena's Astrophotography forward slash and get started for free. The first 200 subscribers to click the link below and sign up get 20% off an annual premium membership. Thank you so much again to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Hello Jake, how are we doing? G'day Helena. What are we shooting tonight? Uh, so tonight I'm shooting uh, something called uh, Wolf Rail at 134. Um, amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's a stunning object. Um, I first saw it actually as an A pod, so uh -huh. uh, it's basically got like a, like a beautiful like oxygen ring around a, a star, and it kind of looks like the iris of uh, of somebody's eye. What scope are you working with tonight? So uh, yeah, tonight I've got the Ascar uh, FRA four hundred. Awesome, uh, awesome. Yeah, Petsford design, absolutely stunning scope. To be honest with you, uh -huh. it's it's so sharp. 
yeah, it's it's you know the pet's full design, so you don't really have to worry too much about back focus and things like oh, that. And, and it's, it's it's small Life and it's saver. light and yeah, it's great. Yeah, ideal for kind of like a portable setup that you've got going on at the minute. Then. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the whole setup really is really designed around um, portability. So I my, love that. Yeah, love my my, uh, my mount is uh, it's like a RST one thirty four. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Expensive. Don't get me wrong. Yep, but worth <laughs> but, it. <laughs> oh, it's it's a dream that uh -huh. thing. Like it just, it just guides all night long. No problem. I've never had a single problem it's with it. It's so nice when you can just switch it on and not have to worry about it. Oh, exactly. It's so yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. When it's worth it. When technology works. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, when it works. Uh, and um, this isn't your first star camp. No, this is my third. Uh, awesome okay. yeah yeah we met at the last one we did we? so yep yeah yeah it was uh what a very cloudy stormy night some uh, some it big was. weather came through yeah it was i feel like the weather has improved this year upon y last year yeah well i can see a star this time Definitely. so that's fortunate a, a you know? star <laughs> <laughs> the standards it, it one's better than last year really <laughs> um, what's your favorite star camp memory that you've had across all of them whether that's like a target something's happened someone that you've met over the, the time that you've been here? I think the target, Iris Nebula. Oh, brilliant. Did that in uh, springtime. Uh -huh. And that came out so well. Uh -huh. uh, the colours popped, That's the contrast cracking. popped. Uh -huh. um, I can't get that at home. Uh -huh. uh, the dust came out in it as well. Uh -huh. It really just... Oh, that is brilliant. It makes it yeah. special when you travel so far away yeah. to get something that you can't get from where you um, are. Before that one, the elephant's trunk. Uh -huh. Again, here uh -huh. for an autumn one. Last stop. Uh -huh. uh, because there's so many different colours just around the, the elephant's trunk itself. Yeah, like, that's that, true. Uh, that you really need to do that in RGB. Uh -huh. uh, and doing that filterless here, yep. you can get those. There's purples Lots and blues. Of wee dark bits just, of dust yeah. in the elephant's trunk as well, it's, it's isn't there? So cool. So oh, I might really. have another go at that tonight. Just Oft. To, uh, I'll have to come back for that. I'll be back for that yeah. <laughs> to have a wee look. Just to relive that one. It's a work of art. <laughs> I, I, just, I don't care what MD says, she can laugh at me. It, to me, it's just a complete work of art. Brilliant. Brilliant. Pure dead brilliant. home for the first two nights and the last following night tonight for me on Star Camp. Now I am actually relatively new to the camping scene if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> the last time I went camping on my own without anyone else in the tent was actually last Star Camp last year which was the first time that I was here and since then I have completely revamped my camping gear and I've bought myself a new tent after my previous one flooded, which was not an experience I would relive. <laughs> Some of you may have noticed and recognised the backpack that's sitting next to me. This is the Shimoda Explorer V230 backpack and if you'd like to know how I fit all of my astrophotography gear, including a star tracker, into this thing, check out my most recent video before this one on YouTube. It shows you how I fit all of the gear into it as well as how to customise it and suit it for your own needs. Okay, um, as you can see here, this target is NGC 2359, um, famously known as Thor's Helmet. How awesome does that look? And this is the Oxygen 3 
sub. It's a three minute sub in a bottle two location. Which is why the oxygen looks so strong as well. Correct. Normally I don't get that much, I get to see that much detail in the sub and it's only in a processing that I'm, mm. I get to see it. And this is hydrogen alpha which is generally a lot it stronger. Looks like oxygen actually. But in comparison yeah, to the oxygen. It looks the opposite, yeah. So I'm absolutely delighted to get that much detail in that image. So Nick, hello. Hello. Hello, welcome, welcome to the Star Camp kind of vlog that we're doing across the field. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Quite tired, a little bit cold tired. now. We're going to tell everyone what time it is currently. Do you think we should? What time is it? Is what time it is it right now? Half four, quarter to five. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shooting tonight? Uh, I'm shooting the Cone Nebula Absolutely. on a uh, 400 millimeter reduced down to uh, 280 millimetre f3.9 so nice and fast oh, and fantastic. very wide field. Everyone that knows you on Astronomy Scotland will know that you're famous for your dark nebula and your <laughs> dust um, that you capture in your images. Yeah. So is that is that what you're aiming to go for tonight as well with this target? Yeah well I framed it up there's a massive area of dust in the middle oh, okay. um, That's ideal. and uh, yeah it should be nice and dusty and dark. I'm going to leave it going. Uh -huh. um, I'll probably go to sleep for a few hours and leave oh. it going. Um, I You've hope it doesn't rain. Going as well, haven't you? Yeah, somewhere over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, thank you so much for taking some time to come and chat. Oh, not at all. Thanks great. for thanks for thanks for showing interest. Here we have the big caterpillar. Do we want to tell a quick story of how we met? Okay. For the folks that don't know. Such a boring story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened was um, I had said to Amber about Stella. Yeah, I had mentioned, I said, look, there's this group and it's, it's just women only. We were all once three we of all us were in Stella. Yeah, then once we get comfortable with each other in the Stella meetings, Yep, video chatted mostly every week. Yeah, mostly every, every Saturday morning. Yep. Yeah, and I think it was just over a year ago. And you messaged decided. me. Yeah. I got a text at school, and they were like, "We're going to come down. We're going to come down. Send me links to bed and breakfast yep. near you." And then I asked you. I says, "Where's Twenty Mill Road? Is that near <laughs> you?" And you says, "Oh my God! Oh, Potato Mill Road. Potato Mill Road." <laughs> Well, I've had many meetings, many trips, many trips and weekends many, away. Many trips. We've been up to the north and of Scotland. We've one, one trip uh -huh. that we've not managed to shoot. Yes, that's yeah, true. That's in right. sky, sky yeah. only. Uh, we can't complain this trip. We cannot no. complain at all. I'm surprised it's a test anybody of that in tents have managed to keep them because uh -huh. I could feel the wind shaking, shaking the van. Shaking the van? Yeah. And I mean, you know what they say, if the vans are rocking, don't come a-knocking. <laughs> <laughs> it was the wind. Yeah. <laughs> well, the five of us were in there like a lot of than we We've made the decision. We have. We're going to bed. We're going to our beds. So, sleep tight, everyone. Thank you so much clear for watching. Clear nights and clear skies. And tuning in to Star Camp 2022. Scott's last row. We Helen will be back for YouTube. Star Camp 2023. Yeah. We will. We will. We this is going to be will. a series. We certainly will. And until then, clear skies. Clear skies. Clear everyone. skies, guys. Look up. Look up. Always look up. <laughs> <laughs>